Hello everyone, for this video we're going to be talking about uh, another type of uh, neighborhood, uh, so region-based uh, filters, um, which is uh, based on morphological uh, operations. So uh, we've used before uh, in previous videos um, kernel uh, convolution for uh, region-based filters. Um, so with kernel convolution, we had this uh, idea of um, looking at the image region by region with a, a kind of sliding window uh, technique. The same thing is done for the morphological operation, but instead of having the convolution operation between the, the, the kernel and the region of the image, we have a morphological operation between also the region of the image and what we call a uh, structuring element, which will be a, uh, a binary, uh, a, bi a small binary uh, kernel. Um, and so the, the operation is, um, will typically be uh, local minimum and local maximum that will be combined in different ways uh, to, to produce uh, the, the, the filter that, that we want. Um, so let's uh, have a look at the uh, notebook. Um, and this time I will be using the uh, working uh, the JPEG image. And first I'm going to be uh, just uh, showing the, the, the filters, the effect, sorry, of the filter on a binary image because those, the morphological operations are, are very often uh, used on a binary image. Although as we will see a bit later in the video, we, it's, we can also uh, define them uh, in uh, grayscale uh, images and sometimes it can be interesting to, to do so. Um, but first I'm going to, to do it on a black and white image and the way that I will produce the black and white image is just by thresholding um, the uh, original image with a uh, 127 threshold, so just at the, at the um, at the middle of the of, of the range, uh, any pixel that is uh, lighter than uh, so that has a value higher than 127 will be set to uh, white. Any pixel that has a lower value will be set to, to black. And so this is my resulting black and white image. And one of the um, really most common way that uh, morphological operations are used are basically to uh, clean up uh, kind of these these kind of black and white images. So typically, when we have a uh, binary image in uh, in image processing, it's often the result of a uh, segmentation operation, for instance, or a detection operation, where we uh, where we are trying to uh, to find a region of an image corresponding to a certain uh, criteria. Uh, and very often the, 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 the result that you will get from a basic algorithm will be uh, very noisy. And so for instance here we, with our very basic threshold, if we are trying to, um, to segment, uh, let's say, the uh, bu building from the uh, windows and the street and the person, well, we would have a lot of uh, noise uh, here with, with uh, um, these uh, light pixels, uh, these noisy um, white pixels scattered over here, uh, in here, and the black pixels uh, here on the on the building. Uh, typically when we want uh, a, a mask uh, to use later for, for further processing, we'll want something that, uh, that has this noise uh, removed. And morphological operations are very uh, useful um, for, for, for that. Um, and so let's, let's um, uh, quickly uh, have a look at how that works and the basic um, the basic morphological operation that we have. So as I said, the uh, morphological operation is always between an image and a structuring uh, element. And with scikit image, we can uh, get some basic structuring elements in the morphology uh, module. So for instance, uh, with the uh, disk uh, structuring elements, we can quickly create a, uh, a mask, a binary mask that will have the shape of a disk of a given uh, radius. So if I put a higher radius, I will have um, a larger uh, image, so the, 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 the image that I get in return will be always, of course, um, uh, rectangular or, or square. Um, but uh, it will be a binary mask uh, encoding uh, a, uh, a disk. In this case, I could have a, uh, a square. Uh, in this case, if I, if I have a square, it's all zeros or all ones? Yeah, it's all ones, but so it will here it will be shown in black because there is only one value present in the um, in the uh, in the image. But if I print it, uh, it will be uh, all uh, ones. Um, so 
very often it's uh, disks that are uh, that are used, but we can use more complex shape or completely arbitrary uh, binary uh, patterns uh, that we that we may uh, want to uh, sometimes use. Um, and the, the the basic operations are really the uh, eros er erosion and uh, deletion, uh, and then we can combine them into the opening and closing. So I will be uh, uh, quickly demonstrating uh, that. So. Here, uh, the first one is the uh, erosion. So if I do the erosion of an image by the structuring elements, the idea will be that I will take the local um, minimum uh, within the, the region. So I will replace the center pixel of the region by the local minimum in the region defined by the uh, structuring uh, elements. So in this case, in a circle of a certain radius around the uh, center pixel. And so the effect of that will be that if there is a black pixel in the in the, the neighborhood defined by the structuring elements, then the center pixel will be uh, put to black. So the um, the effect will be that any uh, isolated white pixel will be uh, removed because there will always be some black pixels uh, in the region around it. And anywhere where I had um, uh, dark pixels that are surrounded by white, those uh, dark region will be uh, uh, increased. So this is uh, why it's an erosion. So we are eroding the, uh, the white uh, region by the, um, the structuring elements so that everywhere that there was some amount, some small amount of black, uh, this amount of black is, um, is eroded. Um, the dilation is the uh, exact opposite. This time we are eroding the black or dilating the, uh, the white region. So everywhere we had some white and the effect is particularly visible in the region where we had a bit of, uh, of noise uh, here uh, with uh, just isolated white pixels. Those isolated white pixels have now been dilated so that they, uh, they have basically the shape of the, um, of the structuring uh, elements. And so if I, if I zoom in there, I will probably see it better. You can see the, the structuring element that has been basically uh, dotted everywhere uh, in this uh, region. And the other effect is that uh, where I had some isolated um, uh, black pixels, uh, just or some very thin uh, lines in the original image, uh, they have been completely removed um, and, and set to, to white. Um, so the opening and closing are just uh, those two operations combined in a uh, different order. So for the, uh, the opening, we first erode the image and then dilate it. So it's an erosion, then a dilation. And so the effect uh, of, of that is that with the erosion, we will uh, remove, completely remove the isolated um, uh, white pixels. And we will uh, so increase the size of uh, any uh, black region in the image. But then with the um, dilation afterwards, uh, every region that, uh, where, th where we increase the, the, the black uh, part, where we will increase the, the white part back so that it uh, retakes its more or less its, ori its original uh, size for the, uh, for the dark region. But everywhere where we completely removed the, 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 the white uh, dots, we have no, nothing left there to uh, dilate, so they will stay um, hidden. So it's really a, a very easy way to clean up uh, small uh, noise. So um, uh, when we have a bit, uh, a bit of noise in our uh, black and white um, uh, mask, uh, and we want to, 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 to remove the, this, uh, the, this noise, uh, just doing an, an opening uh, will allow us to very uh, easily uh, remove this without uh, changing the, the shape of the rest of the mask uh, too much. And the uh, dilation, uh, sorry, the, um, the closing operation is exactly the, 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 the same, but in, uh, in the opposite uh, way. So we are first uh, dilating and then uh, eroding. And uh, this will have the effect uh, in the same way of removing completely the, um, the, 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 the small black regions in uh, the white parts of the, uh, of the uh, image. Um, while trying to, to more or less keep uh, the, the, the shape of the, the, the rest of the mask uh, intact. And so this, um, of course, the, the, the shape will not be completely preserved. It will be modified by the shape of the, uh, of the structuring elements. Uh, if we use uh, 
uh, uh, structuring element that is uh, a, a smaller, a, a, a small disk or a small square. Typically, the the effect will not be too uh, too too big uh, on the um, on the on the mask. Of course, if we use larger of or, uh, elements or elements with a weirder shape, we will more we will distort the the mask uh, a lot more. Um, so uh, we can also combine these um, this. Um, even these openings and closing to really produce uh, a cleaner uh, a cleaner image. So something that is uh, very often done uh, when we when we have such uh, such a mask and we want to, to have something that is really a, a smoother uh, cleaner uh, version is that we can first, um, for instance, create. Uh, so you can first use an opening to remove uh, the um, so the white uh, the small white regions the small white uh, dots that are part of uh, a larger uh, dark region and then use a closing operation uh, on this uh, result to in the same way remove the, uh, the uh, darker regions that were uh, inside uh, um, a large white region. And in this way, we produce something that is very uh, smooth and, and clean and that will be uh, often more useful for uh, further processing. If, if, we, if, we, if we wanted here was to create a mask to, uh, to separate the, um, the facade of the building from uh, the rest of the image, then this uh, mask will be more useful typically than this one for further uh, processing, whether it's uh, making measurements on it uh, or uh, modifying the, the, this part of the image selectively uh, afterwards. Um, so this is really a, a powerful way of, uh, of cleaning up um, binary masks and that's uh, one of the uh, of the way that uh, morphological operations are very often used there are other other uses but we won't go uh, too much into that uh, here um, one thing that i do want to show is uh, that um, these operations also uh, exist on um, grayscale images so uh, the um, the erosion and the inhalation uh, on the grayscale image are just the uh, local minimum and local uh, maximum operation. So if I do uh, an erosion of the grayscale image by my structuring elements, um, what it will do is take for, um, for every region of the image, replace the center pixel by the local minimum in that uh, region. And so the effect will be kind of the same, but generalized to uh, grayscale uh, values. So the, the, where, where we had a darker region, this darker region will grow, but it will no longer be uh, completely uh, binary, of course. Um, and uh, if we do the, um, the dilation, it will be, oops, dilation, uh, it will be the, the, the um, the opposite, uh, the opposite effect, where we make the uh, the lighter region uh, uh, grow um, everywhere in the uh, in the image, and the overall result will be uh, lighter. The same way, we can uh, do the uh, opening and closing uh, and closing operation, um, and so we can produce an effect. Will be typically um, a, a bit similar to. Um, to uh, in the, in the uh, at least visually to what we get with uh, something like a median filter where we uh, have kind of a local uh, smoothing of the of the uh, of the um, of the image so we kind of flatten uh, the um, the, the look of the uh, of, of the image and we can actually use that to make some uh, more um, visually interesting filters even though they are not necessarily useful from uh, from an image processing perspective but kind of the the, the filters that you will find in uh, in tools like um, like Photoshop or, or others uh, that are more like stylistic or artistic uh, filters so for instance if I take um, an RGB image uh, here and I convert it to um, to the HSV uh, color space and I'm using uh, so the combination of opening and closing, uh, but on the um, on the third channel, which is the value, so the grayscale uh, kind of the grayscale value of the uh, HSV uh, image, and then converting back back to uh, HSV. Uh, so th the effect of that is that I for each every pixel I keep the uh, original uh, hue and saturation, so I keep basically the color information, but I do some local smoothing of the um, of the uh, grayscale value, and this will uh, 
give me this kind of of uh, of uh, effects uh, so sort of artistic effect of um, yeah like uh, the um, almost impressionist <laughs> uh, um, uh, effect here of having these uh, kind of uh, flattened uh, uh, small regions of the image and I can of course uh, modify this effect by uh, changing the, the shape or the uh, or the size of the uh, of the structuring uh, element but so that's uh, also something that you can do with those kinds of, of, uh, of filter um, to uh, to just uh, change the aspect of, 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 uh, of even a color image uh, in this in this case um we could try to to do the, the same thing on the uh, so to do it on, on the other uh, um, channels in the H H HSV but the result will probably not be quite as uh, interesting um, because the um, so this is actually not, not even barely visible uh, uh, at this uh, size, if I zoom in, I will probably see uh, see some stuff happening. But the the notion of um, of a um, local minimum or maximum in the uh, U channel does not have uh, does not make a lot of uh, sense because it's not like it's really uh, ordered from uh, low value to high value, uh, as it's supposed to represent more of a, of an angle. And with the the saturation, it's the same. I don't have so much information encoded there, so. It doesn't show show up so much uh, than with the uh, value. Um, so that's it for the morphological operations, and I will see you in the next video.